It's Sunday morning. I was going to go to the David Brown Museum in the Yaris, but the customer said they've not seen it for ages. But I'm actually going to go with Andrew and Liv because they're driving. And then I'm meeting up with Martin and Andrew Ward. So I'm going to get back with them or Charlotte because it's near Charlotte's house. So it's nice to see a blue sky again and no rain. So let's see what's going on at the David Brown Museum. We're on our way now. We're coming from one direction. Andrew's coming from another and Martin's coming from another. As you can see on this map, the and I think we're all going to arrive at the same time. It's like a Top Gear challenge. I think we're only a quarter of a mile away, but if you look, Wardy is already there. So it's racing now between us and Martin. This is the old factory now on the right-hand side. Melford Mills, there's a museum up there. Can you see it across up there somewhere? And Martin is 30 seconds behind us. And we're here, so I think we beat Martin. But Morgan actually's here before us as well. Everyone's looking for a place to park. So we're here, so Wardy won. Martin was 30 seconds behind because he got lost. But yeah, we're all here. That's shine within an inch of its life, isn't it? That wheel just let it down. Yeah. 56 a die 90 was i think is it someone will correct me in the comments and no doubt yeah. yeah the back wheels just let it down this guy wants to meet you andrew watches your video <laughs> oh yeah hello yeah hello nice to see you yeah looks like you waffle on a lot as well <laughs> how many tractors are they making at their pump that is the morrison supermarket when it was a railway siding for yeah, loading the tractors yeah, when crop master crop yeah. master came and in uh... i'm not sure he's not here <laughs> Yeah. Don't like Noddy Wardy. <laughs> so Mally is going to take me for a spin on this after Andrew's warmed the seat up. How fast does it go? Uh, 11 mile an hour. All oh, right. <laughs> At least it's warm here. You can feel the heat coming off the engine. That's where we go for the food on it. <laughs> got a winch on as well. So th this would have been a tug as well, Lennon, for the RAF. No, yeah, this one wasn't. Never was used as a tug. This was, this was specially built as a industrial tractor. Yeah. So, 1936. Has it got cab suspension for the speed bumps? It's got uh, air suspension. <laughs> like in the tires. Yeah. That's what David Brown are famous for gearboxes. I'm famous for junction. <laughs> a clutch and a brake on that side. Yeah. Then the gearbox in the middle. That lever there, that's for the, for the winch. Oh, for the winch on the back. Working hard up the hill, isn't it? Can you hear the brakes working? I'll tell you a story about the brakes on this in a minute when it's quieter. This is the sawmill that used to work on after it powered two thresh threshing boxes, you say? It used to power threshing boxes, yeah, from new, yeah. And you was, and tell us a story about the guy with the steam engines. The guy that bought, he bought two of these to replace the steam engine. That, the story I've been told is that he ran, his steam engine ran away into the village where he lived, uh, being pushed by the threshing box knock part of the plug down so he decided he better have some of the brakes so he brought, <laughs> so two, he brought of these. two of these and this and is number one production number 143 so that makes it production number 43 because it started at 100 all right and he so only 85 of them made with the vtk number so he powered a freshing box then your dad bought it for a sawmill dad bought it to run in his sawmill 
company around the, uh, the saw bench off the pulley at the front. Then he used to go out and uh, take trees down, pull trees over, and rescue plant that was stuck. You know, with the winch on the back. The winch on the back, yeah. Yeah. I'll show you the winch on the back. How many ton will it pull, do you know? I think it's five ton dead weight, so Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's obviously that, that, that folds down and goes on the floor and rips in like a land anchor. There's certain parts that I haven't touched on this on this tractor to repair, there's that there. Oh, it's damaged. We've managed to bend it. If you look across the sprag, it's about four inch out, so I don't yeah, know it's what it was twist. doing there. That was, that was into some rock, and that side probably wasn't. Yeah, yeah. And it was that damage was probably done the same day as that, because it's on an angle, isn't it? It's immaculate now, though, isn't it? That's its history, though, isn't it? Look at that there, David, David Brown. And then that's what powered the freshing box. Which is basically a static combine. Right, so we, I'm going to get in this armoured vehicle. What what engines in it? Two hands, at least two hands on it. His engine slips it. Same <laughs> straight six. Is that actually how thick the steel is? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What are they? Uh, Rengun magazine. Oh, I see. Yeah, for the machine gun. So we're in an armoured car. What engines in it? You say sorry. Straight six down. Straight six Dame Lass. Is that what they put in Jags? Um, good question. Is that the starter motor there? No. An aerial. As a, you can do all gears forward and backwards, so just stick it in forward and away you go. Designed for reconnaissance. And is it is it road legal? Yeah. But you can't really see where you're going. I can. <laughs> I can see it though. You have to kind of like pop your head up and I like to see. Yeah. I just don't want to reverse this. Right, I'm going to put the phone at my eye line. So that, <laughs> so you can, I can see. Do you want your seat must be higher. Do you want to make your seat higher? No, it's alright. My seat is high. I can see now because we're going downhill. <laughs> Yeah, so the front's the thickest yeah. bit because yeah, yeah. then that's the way you're going. Yeah, because you're you're in front of everyone else. You're just wrecking the Yeah. Where the enemy is. And then if you see the enemy, you just bang it in reverse. And it goes it as fast push, backwards push, as forwards. Push, yeah. You then drop you just... the seat down. There's a lever here that drops this my seat down onto the floor, more or less. So, so that the bullets go over your head. And then I can see through there, and I'm just whizzing it out in reverse. And are these all radios then? Yeah. They could make them about that big now, couldn't they? <laughs> yeah, they can. Yeah, it's probably more computing power. Well, they're more communication power on your phone than there is on there. Yeah. No yeah, way. So, command will be sitting up there, just raise your oh, The engine's under the back, presumably. Sorry? The engine's under the back. It's like an inch, it's more than an inch thick, though, isn't it? It's like an inch and a half, nearly, is it? That's what I'm wasting. I need my pen, I need my David Brown pen to measure. <laughs> Left it in my work pants. I think it's 30, 30 mil. <laughs> It's actually coil springs and double wishbone, which for its time... How old, how old is it? Uh, 1945. 1945, coil springs and, wish, and double wishbone suspension. And, uh, That's like pioneering, isn't it? Uh, and a gearbox that's permanent four-wheel drive. Permanent four-wheel drive. Basically a gearbox, all four corners. What a machine. Where was it built? Uh, in what is known as JCP Really, you toxic her? Yeah. Three, 
A Daimler 3.6 engine weighs three ton or three and a half ton. You can barely hear it moving. You can hear that over it and even that's quiet. found a use for this plough, you can stand on it to look at the flood water. Not sure if it's gone down much. You can see all the seagulls there though, they're, they're eating the worms at the edge. So as the worms are dying, because they've drowned, the seagulls are picking them out. Anyway, me and Martin have just got back now from David Brown. We're gonna head back to the yard do the birthday bumper, end the video, but then we're going to do a live video later because we want a little bit of a question and answer session with people about different things to do with baby NFU and Red Tractor. So, I don't know, it's 25 past five while I'm filming this. What time do you think we should go live? Six-ish, quarter past six. Well, then this video will be out by then. I've got to edit it first. All right, half past six, seven o'clock. I'll, I'll put it as the end credit at what time we're going to go live because then that'll give me time I'll, I'll have worked out how long this took to edit so we're going to the birthdays absolutely massive birthday to bumper today we, we nearly had to use the red tractor but we've had enough of them this week and we've certainly had enough of green ones so we're we're going to do it on the buggy but we've we've it's got raised nearly 250 pound actually today the birthday bumper because there's so many things on it some anniversary stuff and there might be some funny names as well keep your eye out so we think well, anyway martin's gonna do it because it's tradition when he's up this way hi everybody a busy bumper excuse my talking very sad start to this uh sunny muse who sadly died uh 2019 to 2023 it's a message i think from america because it was a, a donation in dollars so i'm really sorry to hear that on the happy side of it birthdays and anniversaries and all sorts des williams it's your first anniversary happy anniversary big night tonight Richard Lemon, 49, 49, not quite 50. Hang on for the 50s. Sarah Barnes, 44. Sean Davis, 47. Like Alan Gardner. Two bit, three bit, four bit. Yeah, Alan Gardner's two. Hi, Alan, how are you? Uh, not many Alans at two. Uh, Amy Tallowin, who's 13. Uh, young man, traditional up here, Tony Hall. He likes to have a birthday bumper. We've done it a bit differently today. He's 22,896 days old. Work it out for yourself. Um, Tom Meller, don't know how old you are. Douglas Harrison, don't know how old you are. Happy birthday. Matt Butcher, Caroline's husband, happy birthday. Brother-in-law, I think he's 41. Is he 41? Don't know. Lisa Hartill, 43. Joshua Spong, don't know how old you are. Happy birthday. On to the 50s. Duncan Maynard, 50, happy birthday. Josh Pilkinson, 29. Uh, Angela Lockwood, might be 50. She might be 50 again. Uh, and Henry Ayrton, happy birthday. Total 49. Oh, you missed. oh I missed. Josh Galley, 18. 18. And happy and congratulations to Tom and Beck who got married today. Oh, yeah, happy birthday. Big night tonight. Happy happy, happy wedding. Ready for the anniversary next year. 49,749. Thank you very, very much. Good to see you. Take care. That's amazing. I reckon it's going to be this week that we're going to hit 50k easily. Might even be Tuesday. So thanks for that. Right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. We've done the maths and we're going to go live at seven o'clock. So if you're about, have a check out then. That. It actually sounds like a sewing machine. It's that sweet, that engine.